All right, everybody, thank you for coming on the Team USA and Around the World Zoom. My name is William Bowles, and uh, I have Ryan today on, and he is going to talk about this incredible product and the terahertz technology. So, Ryan, the floor is all yours. Thanks so much, William, and a big thank you to David Gantner for introducing me to this technology. I met David at a wellness expo uh, in early March and was uh, immediately blown away with the guy. I've really enjoyed getting to know him more. And I'm wishing I had, I'm wishing David, I'm calling you out here. I'm wishing you had pushed me a little harder on using the iTerra Care a bit sooner. I'm really wishing you had, but you could have pushed me a bit harder into using it sooner. Um, because a couple of weeks ago, I finally got it. I started using it. And I started doing more research into like, what exactly is this? Because I could tell that it's doing something, right? For those of you who already have a device, right? You can feel it doing something. And it's more than just air blowing across your skin, right? Especially for those of us who are energetically attuned. Um, you know, we can really feel that there's something oscillating. There's something going on in here when it's, when it's working. And so I had to just do some deep dive into the research into it. And I have to say, I'm blown away. Uh, as David can attest, I've been bugging him nonstop uh, on the phone over the past couple of weeks, hitting him with this, hitting him with that, asking every question I can. He's been connecting me with fantastic resources. So that way I can answer my questions as a scientist, uh, not just a scientist in general, but a scientist over my own body. Each one of us, whether we recognize it or not, we're the chief science officers over our own body. I've had a long healing journey. And so I have a lot, great relationship with my body. And so I'm very aware of that. And so, and so I'm very honored to be here and to be talking about this technology. Um, you know, so, so what it is in essence, and this is what I found out to be, is without a doubt, I feel will be the next ubiquitous technology that will just, you'll just see it in everybody's homes. You're just going to see it. Five years down the road, you're just going to see it in people's homes and you're not even going to think a thing of it. It's just going to seem like it's always been there. Like the toaster's always been there. The microwave's already been there. The, the Keegan water, you know, structured water machine on the countertops. It's just, it's been there. We are just going to get to a, a part of society where this is just going to become ubiquitous. And I'm convinced of that because of what it's actually doing and how that affects us on a biological level. So uh, for those of you, just a brief back background on me before I jump into that technology so I can kind of set the stage for why it matters so much. Uh, I have been, um, my name is Ryan today. I've been my own boss full time for 12 years now. Uh, majority of my income comes from life coaching and I specifically work with entrepreneurs and CEOs who are high driven, high performance, high value individuals who the smallest tweak in their behavior means a big difference in their performance. And that means a big difference in their paychecks. Um, that's typically who I work with. I'm known as what's called a neuroplasticity coach. So my specialty is more specifically in helping us to all feel and sense how our brains change over time. Because when I was growing up, I was told that our brain once grown stays the same way. Raise your hand. If you, were you told that when you were growing up that your brain stays the same? Right, raise your hand, raise your hand. If you were told that. Well, turns out, I don't know if you know this, but it's a lie. Our brains not only change, but they can grow new cells. It's called neurogenesis. Neuroplasticity for brain and plasticity means that we can change our brains and we can do it over time. We are not just victims to the world around us being changed by the world around us. We can change how we're changed by the world around us and the tools that we have. And so I've been doing this full-time for 12 years. I got certified as a life coach in 2007. Before then, I got started as a life coach in 2002. But um, before then, I was actually a Reiki energy healer. I got certified as a Reiki energy healer back in 1997 when I was 19 years old because I was dealing with a very powerful autoimmune disease that was destroying my life, ravaging my life. Um, by my early 20s, I had already spent a couple of years homeless on the streets, literally living on the streets because drugs and alcohol suppressed my immune system to the point to where it couldn't attack itself. So I was, I was just resonated to a different kind of life until I learned sales psychology. I learned how to sell myself on becoming someone new each day. And so I started selling frozen meat door to door and I got out of homelessness. I sold myself on becoming someone new. And I used that to become a coach in the early 2000s. And I love my life. And I become convinced over this healing journey of mine 
that I've now been, I've now been, like I said, I've been married. I, you know, I have a 17, 14, and 11 year old kid, 11 year old children. I uh, had a wonderful 19 year marriage, a uh, wonderful, wonderful relationships with the people I have. And like I said, I've been my own boss full time for 12 years. And most importantly, the autoimmune disease is gone. I don't have to deal with any of the issues that I had to use to deal with before tons of dislocations, aphthous mouth ulcers. And it's all due to, again, the skill of healing and changing myself. I've been blessed to have some great tools in my life. One of those key tools that I'm a huge proponent of is our saunas. Raise your hand if you're a big fan of saunas. Anybody have a sauna here? You know, raise your hand if you're a big fan of saunas. Saunas are a godsend. Hippocrates was right. Hippocrates said, give me the power to create fever and I will cure disease. But he more accurately also said, if you give me the power to heat and warm the bones, we will cure diseases. And why is that? Well, I did a lot of research into why saunas work. What's going on here? And the science behind a sauna is actually the same reason why that terahertz device you have in your hand works. It's the same principle underneath it all. So believe it or not, you're actually holding, if you have an iTeraCare device nearby you, if you have that, you're holding in your hand, you are actually holding in your hand the world's first handheld sauna. That is actually a handheld sauna, if you think about it. And not just think about it, it's the truth. Because here's how saunas work. On one hand, you have saunas that are ambient temperature saunas. They use steam or dry heat to heat the room to super high temperatures. That forces your body into a state of shock, into a state of having to raise your internal temperature so we can fulfill Hippocrates' dream, which is to raise your internal body temperature. So saunas use ambient temperature to force your body. What infrared saunas do is they oscillate at the same frequency as our bodies, as the cells of our bodies. And because of that, it causes that resonance. And so we literally heat up from the inside out. So infrared saunas don't have to get as hot. They only get to between 130 to 160 degrees, whereas most traditional saunas go between 160 to over 200 degrees, super hot. And actually, you don't want it that hot on your head. Ideally, hot heart, hot body, cool head, right? Let's keep our heads cool. Let's keep our bodies and abdomen warm. That is the key to a long, healthy life. And so there's some challenges with saunas. They get way too hot. You can't stay in them long. There's some real challenges there. Infrared saunas solve some of those problems by warming the body up. But here's the problem. If you go out there and you Google right now and you do a Google search and you say infrared sauna, you're going to find every single major sauna is marketing that they are full spectrum infrared sauna. Now, what that means is that it has far, mid, and near infrared. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with, as they say, you want the full spectrum of the light of the sun. But that's not exactly true, is it? Because if you want the full spectrum of the sun, that includes UV rays. UV rays cause skin cancer. We want, if you're going to have a infrared device that's high powered, you want to be as far away from near infrared as you can get. You want to be as far away. I mean, otherwise, it's just like pointing a remote control at you. A remote control is infrared, right? You can grab a remote control and aim it at yourself. It's not going to do anything. But if it's high-powered, that changes things. So if you have something that's high-powered, could you imagine a high-powered UV machine on your skin? That would be horrible. That would be the, that, that, that's asking for cancer. But that's basically what you would do is if you were to take an infrared sauna as they are and put it into a condensed, focused form like we have in this, in, like we have in the iTerra care, you would end up with something that you wouldn't want that high powered, that close to you because it's too close to the ionizing side of the electromagnetic spectrum. We want to get away from x-rays. We want to get away from ultraviolet and near infrared is right there next to it. So what you're holding truly is the future of wellness care, of cellular mobility, of detoxification, of the ability for us and to maintain healthy wellness, as well as use it for acute aches and pains and things like that. Because I can't take my sauna, I've got over $20,000 worth of sauna here in my house, different saunas, but I can't take any of my saunas and aim it at a sprained wrist. I can't take any of those saunas and aim it at my heart when my heart feels heavy for some bad news that I just got from my children. I can't take that and aim it where I have a headache. 
I can't take it and aim it at golf stones. I can't take it and aim it at anything. And most importantly, I can't take it and aim it at my water. So what we actually have here, folks, is a far infrared laser, a handheld sauna that can do so much more than any other sauna in the world can do. And what that is, to tie that up, is what's called heat shock proteins. If there's any biohackers in the audience or people who are big into, big into health and wellness, you may have heard this phrase, heat shock proteins. Heat shock proteins are what happen when you warm the bones, when you warm the flesh. The body produces these shock proteins that act as what they call molecular escorts. Isn't that a cute little name? It's almost like, it's like imagine there's a party and there's the drunk guy throwing up and making a mess everywhere, like with all these cells. And the molecular escort comes along and says, come on, let's get you out of here. Let's, get to this, let's keep this place nice and clean. But that's what heat shock proteins do. Even on a single celled bacteria level, single celled bacteria use heat shock proteins to bind and escort the waste out of their cell. So reason with me, folks, if a single cell bacteria could figure out that I need the heat shock proteins, if Hippocrates can figure out that I, he, we need heat shock proteins, they just didn't know how to get it. We can figure out and we can tell the world we need heat shock proteins. And the way that we can get it is either, yes, you can go into a superheated sauna. You can go do that or you can buy and spend thousands and thousands of dollars, or you can spend $350 on a consumer device that you can take and aim with you and utilize as you want. And yes, you can actually, I can show you some ways and we're gonna be coming out with more training. Um, I'm just getting started here. So I'm gonna be providing lots of training on how we can use this in better ways. And I can show you some ways that using that little wand, I can get you to sweat, deeply sweat, as if it were a real sauna in a matter of, minute, a matter of minutes. And so I'm really excited to help because the technology on this is sound. The terahertz frequency is literally as far away from near infrared as you can get, but it is the infrared. Terahertz is the future of where everything is going. And this device is the first closest thing that I've ever seen to actually being able to put it, of course, into this form factor, how it works. And yes, you can use it to structure your water. And that is the biggest thing that I'd like to close off on and just saying that when you're using this, folks, you know, use it multiple times a day, but really take the time to 30 to 30 to 60 seconds for an eight ounce glass of water. Just take the time to do that before and after your sessions. And the reason why is the same reason why you want to drink water before and after a sauna. It's not just because you're going to sweat a lot because you can use the iTera care and not have to sweat. But it, the point is so that way, when those heat shock proteins bind to the waste in your body, the water can help flush it out. That's the point. So you can mobilize everything and get stuff moving out of you because otherwise, the reason why, otherwise, what you're going to be left with is garbage body, literal, actual garbage body from cellular debris, viruses, viral load, unhalf digested proteins, all kinds of gunk filling up your body. And we're not even talking about inorganic waste. We could have a completely separate conversation and we will about microplastics and the danger of microplastics and how the National Health Institute of Health just have calculated 188,000 deaths last year in the United States due to microplastics. We are consuming on average a credit card's worth of microplastics every single week. And the only way that we can get it out of us is through heat shock proteins and our body's existing detoxification system, but we need to empower it. Just like we shower on the outside, use your TerraCare to shower on the inside. Get those heat shock proteins going, charge your water, structure water, hydrate, use it, and get that flushed out of you for your longevity, for your well being. And so you can just feel good because let's be honest, it's a lot easier to do good in the world when you feel good you're not feeling so great, you've got to use your willpower to get up and get going. So if you're here, you're clearly at the right place at the right time. And I'm excited for you to be on your journey. I'm excited to hear from anybody's tips. I'd love to hear from anybody if you have any tips and how you've been using it. Um, I'm just a big fan of, of, of that side of things. So anything that I can do to help anybody utilize it and what we can do to support each other in, in, in exploring this powerful technology and how it can help us feel better in our bodies, do better in the world and continue sharing that message. Uh, I'm just humbled and happy to be here. I hope that helps. Wow. Thank you, Ryan. I look forward to having you on some more Zooms to go into more details about uh, what you're experiencing. That's going to be wonderful. 
So thank you for coming on tonight. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going to pause.